welcome back to Dave's MySQL Basics. We're going to start looking at the SELECT command in depth. Now, SELECT is used to retrieve data from the database. And uh, there's some interesting bits that you have to be aware of when you're starting off. Otherwise, uh, you're going to end up confused. If you're a novice to SQL, you're going to be confused anyway. But uh, back to using MySQL Workbench and the World Database. And our query that we're going to start with today is we're going to select the name column from the country table where the population is greater or equal to 1 million and the population is less than or equal to 2 million. Now I'll hit the lightning bolt here and run this query. I got to forgive my machine, it takes a little while for it to warm up. Uh, you can see that we get the list of countries. Now, SQL is a very, very rich um, language. Uh, this is one of the things that causes novices a lot of heartache. Uh, we can write this part here um, to be, I think it's a little, a little bit easier to uh, understand. Um, so where population is between whoops, not between, between Now, readability, um, I find, is more important than uh, anything else, especially when you're starting off, uh, to make it very easy to understand what exactly is going on with the query. Oops, and let me make sure we get this. I don't need the parents there because it's not a uh, function. So we're going to once again look for the population between 1 million and 2 million. And if we run this again, uh, we get our, our list. Now, where things can also get interesting is, say, like you want even more information. Uh, let's add another qualifier here to the where statement, where GNP is less than let's say 10,000. Now we have these two qualifiers here but we need to be able to um, say how they operate. Now in this case we're going to do an AND operation. Uh, we could have done an OR operation. And I like to write these like that to make it a little more readable. And when we run, run this query uh, we get our information. Now, the previous version that we had, uh, population greater than or equal, less than an equal. Um, if we run this, there's a subtle problem you may not be aware of. So we rerun our, our query. And the way this is evaluated by the system, you know, let me lower this down. I think this is where we'll start seeing it. Um, what's happening here is now we only have two countries coming back. Well, what's happening is the system is evaluating this as GNP less than a thousand and population less than a hundred thousand. First, it's not doing the GNP calculation and then the population calculation. So to make this more explicit, we can put all this in parentheses. So those are the countries with the GNP less than 100,000 and population between those two figures. Next, we'll look at grouping. 